Well, hello, it's Bruce Williams again, and I've got a great gross image challenge for you today from an adult rhesus macaque. Can you give me the morphologic diagnosis and name the condition for this lesion? While you're thinking about that, I will mention that this image comes from Dr. Franz Kaup, who was a longtime pathologist at the German Primate Center and contributed significantly to the field of primatology. This and all of the other images that I use in these presentations are available to you at no charge through NOAA's archive at the Davis Thompson Foundation website. With that, I'll ask you, did you get the appropriate morphologic diagnosis? Well, we're looking at two large enamel defects in the maxillary incisors, and that brown material that you see is the underlying dentin. These are called dental caries. In humans, they use the term cavities, but I think caries is more widely used in, uh, in veterinary medicine. We're looking at the underlying dentin. If this was underneath the gum line, we might also be looking at cementum, but that's usually a subgingival repair tactic. The name of this condition comes to us from human dentistry, where it's known as nursing bottle syndrome and it's a result of putting your young child to bed at night with a sippy cup containing fruit juice or formula, anything but water. And what happens is this material bathes the teeth and the normal oral flora, the bacteria, will break down the sugar and the refined carbohydrates in this material and produce acids at a by, as a byproduct which bind to the enamel and then over a period of months or even years will wear it away leaving these particular defects. So a great lesion, a fantastic image, and I'll see you next time.